like lovely place. So I've met before a lot of artists that are just like into uh, primitivism and naive influence as well. But what Fuster creates here is like a little more Cuban. Just one of the things that truly strike you is not only the color, but just like all these elements that represent Cuba really, like the palm trees and the rooster and the, the guajiras, you know, the farmers with these straw hats. And of course for me, the greatest doesn't lie on the color or the work or the artist influence. It's just more the influence of this idea in the neighborhood. This, you know, helps in the economic revival of the area. Beautiful. I think it's a cross between sort of iconic European Renaissance, pre-Renaissance mosaic work and um, more folk art. I love it. It's like being in Wonderland. It's like being in Fusterlandia. <laughs> I'm going to get all misty though. Um, the other thing I should probably say is having, having lived with art for 35 of my more than 35 years, um, what I see here is the life, work, and passion of an artist. And this isn't really work. This is love and following his muse. And it just, it's a privilege to look at what he does. Sorry, I get really misty at art. It's a beautiful thing. How come we've never heard of this place before? It's so awesome, but it's like, the artist Gaudi and it's just craziness. It's like Picasso with, on quaaludes, you know, right? And I just, I'm just so tickled. It, I didn't think, I knew this would be a great vacation, but I had no idea how awesome this trip was gonna be. And this is just kind of like another layer of icing on the cake, this place. Love you all, thank you.